Migrating operating systems can be an intimidating task. That's why Red Hat Enterprise Linux has an officially supported migration tool to help accomplish just that. My name is Eric Hendricks, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at Red Hat. I'm going to introduce you to Convert to RHEL and demo how to convert from Oracle Linux to Red Hat Enterprise Linux using this utility. There are a lot of operating system options available on the market, but only one of them can bring you all the power of a fully open source enterprise community that's behind it. Red Hat Enterprise Linux provides certifications by government agencies and hardware vendors, live kernel patching, and a world-class platform support team. Red Hat Enterprise Linux allows you to build once and deploy anywhere from containers to bare metal to public or private clouds. Red Hat Enterprise Linux provides a predictable lifecycle with in-place upgrades and tools like Red Hat Insights to monitor and secure your systems. How does this process work? Convert to RHEL provides a light touch process for converting Oracle Linux systems to fully supported Red Hat Enterprise Linux instances. It will automatically determine the architecture of your system and take inventory of all the installed packages. Once the conversion starts, Convert to RHEL subscribes the system to the required Red Hat package repositories, then all the OS dependent packages are swapped out for Red Hat signed RPMs. Once the conversion is done, all it takes is a reboot. What's more is the Convert to RHEL tool brings your system up to the latest minor release. You may be asking, why do a conversion? Why not just install from scratch? <laughs> I am so glad you asked. Using the Convert to RHEL utility gets you back on the proverbial road quicker than a clean install. With a conversion, you don't have to redeploy your apps or reinstall all of your packages. There's no need to recreate all the required users, their home directories, or supporting configuration files. Plus, Convert to RHEL utilizes snapshotting to provide a safe recovery mechanism should anything go wrong. This means you'll need a shorter maintenance window to bring your systems onto a supported Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription. And, as we'll see in a future video, makes for an easier path to running the latest version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The conversion process is straightforward, as we'll see in just a minute. In fact, in the description below, there are links to our blogs and documentation outlining all the steps and common questions we've encountered during the conversion process. However, you don't have to take this journey alone. Red Hat Services is available to help you on your journey. Services can help you set attainable goals, write automation and health checks, and make sure that you can achieve your goals with a minimum of downtime for your infrastructure. Now, it's time for a demonstration. What you are seeing is a vanilla Oracle Linux 8.4 virtual machine. Before we start, it's highly recommended that you update all of your packages to the latest available version. It's also a requirement for an Oracle Linux conversion to be running the Red Hat compiled kernel instead of the unbreakable kernel. In order to start our conversion process, we need to add the official Convert to RHEL repository. So let's download the GPG key to ensure we're getting signed packages and the repo file into our yum.repos.d directory. From here, you can use yum to install the utility and all of its dependencies. Once that's done, we can start the conversion process. Before we kick it off, let's break this command down. We want this process to move as smoothly as possible, so let's give it a few arguments. You can register using your Red Hat Access account and password, like we're doing here with the username argument, or you could create an access token. The Auto Attach option tells Convert to RHEL to automatically attach any compatible subscriptions to our instance. Let's hit Enter, and Convert to RHEL will take inventory of the installed kernel and all the enabled repositories. The first prompt lets us know that the Oracle Linux specific packages and GPG keys will be removed. Let's say yes, and Convert to RHEL will install the subscription manager package needed to assign our system to our Red Hat subscription. The next prompt asks us for our Red Hat Access password. Convert to RHEL will register our system and attach any subscriptions that match this instance's profile as well as attach the necessary repositories. The next prompt will ensure we are okay to remove the Oracle repositories. Let's say yes, as we won't need them once this conversion is complete. Here's our last heads up, <laughs> no turning back now. Let's confirm the operation, then grab some coffee. Within a few minutes, all the Oracle signed packages will be replaced with Red Hat signed versions, and will be ready to reboot into our newly converted Red Hat Enterprise Linux server. Now that you've warmed up your coffee, we're ready to reboot our system. When the system boots back up, we can see we're now running Red Hat Enterprise Linux with a Red Hat compiled kernel. It really is that easy to convert to RHEL. 
If you'd like to learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, you can start your free trial at redhat.com slash tryrel.